Okay, so let's solve the benchmark problem, benchmark 2D problem using triangular elements. Here you can see the benchmark problem. We have infinitely long rectangular box with metallic walls. You can see here. And we are going to find the electric potential distribution inside this box. This box is empty. And we know the value of voltage on boundaries, right? Here the value of voltage is 0, 0, 0. And here the value of voltage is equal to V0. So we should solve the Laplace equation because this is an MPT region. So you know also the boundary conditions. And this is the analytic solution of this problem. Okay, using uh, Fourier series, you can see this reference for the analytic solution of this problem. So, using this function, you can plot this figure analytic solution and you can plot contour lines of this function okay so we are going to solve the problem using linear triangular elements and compare our problem with this analytic solution and calculate error and uh, evaluate the convergence property like before Okay, first of all, let's plot the analytic solution, this function. So here, let me run this code. This is our mesh that we generated in the previous videos. So here are mesh points, P, size of P is equal to by 100. Because nx is equal to 10 and ny is equal to 10. So we have 100 mesh elements. So I write V exact or analytic solution is equal to zeros, 100, and 1. Right? Because the solution is. This is a solution vector. I write here analytic solution. So uh, here we have K that is an index in this series, Fourier series. So I write for K equal to one to let's consider 1000 terms and and I write this V exact is equal to we have a constant product here and we have this summation here, right? Sine of 2 times k minus 1 by x divided by w. Consider that in this equation the value of w and h are equal to 1 right in this problem so let me set w equal to 1 h equal to 1 so instead of w and h i can consider 1 in this equation so here i write sign of finally we should multiply the value of exact solution is equal 4 times V0 divided by pi times the exact solution. So here V0 is equal to 1. Right. You can uh, read this reference 
to review derivation of the analytic solution. So, how I can plot the analytic solution? I generate a new figure and again I use the patch function. Faces are connectivity list transpose, vertices, p transpose, uh, face color. I use interp and here I use this face vertex c data. You can see this setting in the MATLAB help function. So if I run this code, uh, let me check. This is the value of. We have to add the VX at each and every k step, right? Oh, right, right, exactly. Right, because, right, uh, this summation. So, because we cannot uh, sum up to infinity, I considered 1000 terms. So, here is the solution. Here is the solution. Let's check why we have something like this vx values are equal to none none in matlab stands for not a number okay so let's start by the first term vx we have values to vx we have values so what happened when we increase number of k for example 100 again we have a good contour map right so for example if i increase this 10 by 10 we have this solution 20 by 20 we have this contour map something like this right also you can set the color bar here from 1 to 0 the value of electric potential for these three edges are equal to 0 and for this edge is equal to 1 also you can set number of contours actually using this command color bar and color map it right like our reference okay this uh, reference that we have here so this is the analytic solution and you can see the analytic solution here right you can increase number of mesh nodes to have a fine solution here for example 100 by 100 right good solution here so what do you think when we increase the value of k we get not a number maybe precision right you can investigate the numerical calculations here and what is the reason when we increase the value of k this equation i think this should will be almost equal to zero right when we increase the value yeah. of k sign hyperbolic of for example 500 infinity right so also we should check what number here is enough right uh, you know how we can check we can do something like this for example for a specific value of k 100 run what is the value of v x almost equal to zero right if i write norm of v x this is almost equal to zero so 100 is enough 
it seems uh, 100 is enough so anyway this is the analytic solution and right now we are going to use linear triangular elements to find the finite element solution so do you have any question about the analytic solution no it's very clear okay Thanks.